What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to fix Grand Theft Auto 5 enhanced not starting or crashing on startup black screen and a few other things like that. Let's begin. First of all, before we do anything, GTA 5 enhanced is not exactly the same as GTA 5. If you've installed any mods or you're doing any third party things like reshade and things like that, there may be some weird incompatibilities with GTA 5 enhanced or certain mods and applications may not work outright with this at all. If you're trying to do any kind of third party modifications, try turning them off and see if the game works properly without them. That being said, the first thing you should do in any case is verify your game files, especially if you've been doing any tinkering. Locate GTA 5 Enhanced in Steam, right click, choose properties, and on the installed files tab, select verify integrity of game files here. Otherwise, in Epic Games, head to your library, find your game here, then click the three dots next to it, followed by manage, I don't think I have anything installed here, but should click manage there and you can then choose verify integrity. In the Rockstar game launcher, locate GTA 5 enhanced, head across to settings and inside of here, assuming you have it installed through the Rockstar launcher instead of Steam, you'll be able to verify your game files there instead. Now, assuming you've done all of that and nothing worked, on Steam, right click the game, choose manage and browse local files. The other versions of this should be somewhat similar. Inside of the game folder, wherever that may be, find the redistributables folder and install the Rockstar launcher and social club if you don't already have these apps installed. Then something else a bit weird with the game files is that I've heard from a few people that moving the game to your Windows installation drive, which is usually C drive, which isn't always possible, but if you can, can help improve stability in some cases. On Steam, you can right click properties and on the installed files tab, you're able to move the installed folder over here to a different drive, preferably C drive. Assuming none of these work and your game files are as they should be, make sure your Windows is up to date and especially your graphics card driver as well. You'll find links to those down below. If none of that works, you can try resetting your settings for the game, especially if you were able to launch it before, reboot it after say a graphic change and now you can't get back in. Open a new file explorer with Windows E or Start E, head across to your documents, then Rockstar Games and GTA 5 Enhanced. Inside of here, you'll have settings.xml. This file can be customized manually if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, just delete this file completely. And the next time you start the game, it should be restarted with the default settings. Then I've also heard that because these files are in your documents folder, if you're using OneDrive on your system, that can also do some weird things here, like restoring previous versions of this file or locking it so the game can't modify it, access it, etc. Turning off OneDrive or pausing it temporarily may also help fix issues with this particular file folder here as well. Now, finally, if none of these fixes work, usually the issue is the Rockstar launcher. For this, open up control panel or settings, followed by apps, head across to uninstall a program from control panel, and inside of here, you'll find the Rockstar Games launcher and Rockstar Games SDK. Uninstall both of these, and the next time you try to start your game, these should both be reinstalled. Otherwise, open up the games folder, so right click, manage, browse local files, and inside of here, in the redistributables folder, you'll find these two programs, as I previously mentioned. Install both of these, and hopefully things should be working a little bit smoother. Usually, these are the culprit of the game not starting at all, so there you go. Anyways, we've pretty much run through everything that we can for the most part. Unfortunately, if you're still getting issues, there may be some new weird things that happen with GTA 5 Enhanced. Do let me know down below if you're still having the issue after this, and of course, if you find a better solution in the future. Thank you for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.